All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a couple of uh, tiny ones. Right over here I've got the Chris Reeve Knives uh, Small Sebenza 21 and right over here I have the MBK Sea Otter for a quick comparison review. But as usual, guys, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe right under here and leave me a comment if you feel so. Uh, so what you see here is just like some uh, mineral oil to protect this gorgeous uh, spirograph Damascus right over here. So we have two frame lock in titanium, uh, thumb studs for both, washers for both, um, we got standoffs for both, a lot of similarity, uh, bent clip, I mean this is not the original one but uh, you get the idea, you know. Um, and then you have pretty much, really, pivot, uh, two screws uh, for the hotter and pivot and two screws uh, uh, for the body for the Sebenza, but one is gonna be acting as a stop pin and the other one is just like this fella right over here. Uh, so, it, it, of course, you get two screws over here and two screws just in different places. Both are titanium frame locks. Uh, they both are lacking stainless steel lock face insert. Um, they are both sporting uh, thumb studs. The Sea Otter has dual thumb studs and the uh, Chris Reeve just one, but there's an option. You can actually get a second one right over here. You get a Magna Cat blade for the MBK right there. And you get, in this case, a wonderful Spirograph Damascus from Devin Thomas, but uh, uh, this is discontinued. Just don't, don't even bother looking at this because it's gonna be hard to get one. You can find this fella in S30V uh, for older models and S35VN steel blade and like a few variation of the Damascus, basket weave, uh, raindrop, uh, you get the spirograph, you get a ladder, if you're lucky you can get some river of fire Damascus but let's just not uh, start dreaming, we are here in the reality of things and these two fellas are very real and uh, let's check the overall length because they are quite similar overall it's uh, seven inches for the seven, uh, small sebenza and a little bit under sorry yeah a little bit under seven inches something like uh, yeah, 6.8 and this other maybe like 6.7 so really really close um, the action is uh, snappy for both, there's no guillotine effect in both uh, uh, cases, like you have just no luck if you're looking for a drop shotty action. And uh, let's also check the weight for this, these two guys, uh, because that's uh, also something that is, it might be interesting for some of you. Uh, so the small Sebenza is weighing in at 2.87 ounces and the MBK is 3.09, so just a little bit heavier than the Chris Reeve. Um, the prices are quite different. Uh, these um, these two fellas are both amazing. I mean, you get an over, um, a little bit bigger uh, pivot for sure for the um, MBK, a little bit smaller for the Sebenza, but if you check for example the Incosi, the small Incosi, you're gonna get a pretty oversized pivot right there. Um, Another little difference is that this Sebenza is carrying a lanyard option right over here, whereas here I don't see any place to stock. I mean, you can wrap it around the, the clip, but eh, whatever. Um, the jimping also is very, very different. Look at this. I mean, nice. They're both nice. This is a little bit more grippy. Aesthetically, it's, you know, the Sebenza uh, 21 has a more pleasing uh, set of jimping. And by the way, if you count these guys, they are 21. And that's also another reason that uh, because this guy is so cool. Um, also, I want to check the stock thickness real quick for these two guys. Let's start from the for, uh, from the MBK. 0.134. Sebenza is 0.118. So a little bit uh, thinner behind the edge. This Sebenza is going to be like uh, let's say at this point pretty much. It's going to be 0 0.022. And uh, the MBK looks a little bit thinner. 
yeah, 0 0.0, look at this, 1.6. So a little bit better slicing capabilities for the this Magna Cut Blade, a little bit thicker behind the edge for this event. They are both hollow grind uh, and they are both pretty cool slicer, very, very good EDC carry, especially for the summer because around three ounces, you can't really go wrong. I mean, these are pretty cool options. So it's just a matter of taste. Uh, the variations are a little bit different. Uh, you have more options uh, for the Chris Reeve, but this is guy, this guy is discontinued. So uh, it's just a matter of uh, searching the secondary market. If you want one, then this guy is uh, more recent and uh, more available. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.